The act of theft is an unfortunate reality that many individuals have to face at some point in their lives. Whether it is a stolen wallet, a break-in at home, or a betrayal by a trusted friend, theft can be a deeply distressing experience. However, the Bible provides us with invaluable teachings and guidance on how to cope with such situations. In this article, we will examine the biblical insights on dealing with theft and explore practical strategies for finding solace and healing based on scripture. Examining the biblical teachings on dealing with theft, the Bible acknowledges the pain and injustice that theft brings into our lives. It emphasizes the importance of seeking justice and restitution when we have been wronged. Proverbs 6 verse 31 declares, But if he is caught, he must pay back seven times what he stole, even if he has to sell everything in his house. This passage reminds us that the wrongdoer should face the consequences of their actions and make amends for the harm they have caused. Furthermore, Matthew 6 verses 19 to 21 urges us to not hold on tightly to material possessions. It teaches us that true riches lie in heavenly treasures rather than earthly belongings. Understanding this perspective can help us cope with the loss of material possessions, as we realize that our worth and happiness do not solely depend on what we own. The Bible teaches us to focus on spiritual growth and the love of God, which can bring us comfort and peace amidst the turmoil of theft. Practical Strategies for Coping with Theft, Based on Scripture One of the most powerful strategies the Bible offers us is forgiveness. The teachings of Jesus emphasize the importance of forgiving those who have wronged us. In Matthew 6 verses 14-15, Jesus instructs, For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you, but if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Forgiving the thief can be challenging, but it allows us to let go of the anger and resentment that theft often brings. It brings healing to our hearts and prevents bitterness from taking root. Another practical strategy is to seek solace in community and prayer. The Bible encourages us to turn to our fellow believers during times of distress. Galatians 6 verse 2 advises, Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Sharing our experiences and seeking support from those who share our faith can offer a tremendous source of comfort and strength. Additionally, prayer allows us to find solace in the presence of God and seek His guidance and peace in the face of theft. Coping with the emotional aftermath of theft can be incredibly challenging, but the Bible provides us with wisdom and guidance to navigate through these difficult times. By examining the biblical teachings on dealing with theft and implementing practical strategies based on scripture, we can find solace, healing, and even forgiveness. Remember, while theft can cause pain and distress, it does not have the power to define our worth or dictate our future. Through faith and the support of our community, we can overcome the effects of theft and emerge stronger individuals.